hello everyone in last video we have discussed about LDA okay if you have not watched that video please watch it now I'm going to start a second video on reagent that is known as Woodward Prevost hydroxylation okay now what is the re now these are two different reagent Woodward reagent and Prevost de reagent are the both two different reagents but there is a quite just a little difference is there if you remember that difference then it will be easy for you to remember both Woodward as well as Prevost hydroxylation without wasting your time I'm going to start explanation of this Prevost and Woodward reagent now what is Prevost reagent now Prevost reagent is a solution of iodine this is a solution of iodine in CCL4 in CCL4 with equivalent amount of see with equal amount with equivalent amount of dry silver acetate this is silver acetate or silver benzoate so what is silver benzoate C6H5COO AG is a silver benzoate you can use any one what is the solvent which we are using here is CCL4 this is for Prevost reagent okay and in Prevost reagent we are we are uh, taking care that the condition should be maintained is dry conditions that is anhydrous conditions we have to maintain in the reaction and what is the product we are getting is transdiol we are getting what we are getting is transdiol in Prevost reagent we are using I twin silver acetate or silver benzoate in dry conditions in dry conditions in the solution of CCL4 and we are getting transdiol now what is the Woodward reagent in Woodward reagent also we are using same I2 in uh, silver acetate or silver benzoate okay silver acetate or silver benzoate in the presence of moist acidic acid remember this one thing you are using just a moist acetic acid okay further followed by saponification okay we are going to get same hydroxylation product only but what is the change here we are getting cis diol cis 1 to diol so what is the difference between Prevost reagent here we are using dry condition here we are using moist condition and what product we are getting in Prevost reagent is a transdiol and what reagent we are, what product we are getting in the Woodward reagent is cis diol only this is the difference difference and mechanism also remains almost same the first three steps are, remain same in Prevost reagent as well as in the Woodward reagent now in Prevost reagent now what will happen now this is an alkene which I am taking when this alkene is treated with I2 in silver acetate now what is happening this I silver acetate is what Ag plus CH3COO minus now Ag is plus it is looking for minus charge so this I will come on the Ag you will get AgI left out and the positive I is developed here now this has now this is a alkene which is electron rich which, which will donate electron to I and it will form a iodonium salt now it's it will form a three membered ring which is known as iodonium salt now we have acetate here AGI is formed here then what is left out acetate CS3 C double bond O minus now I is carrying plus charge this bond shifts here and this carbon will get a positive charge now there is a negative charge on oxygen it will come here okay and this bond will shift here so what you will get you will get iodoacetate see just references r c h as it is i is coming here c h r and whatever o is there just i am attaching here o c double bond o c h 3 okay now next is what ha what is happening is intramolecular sn2 reaction is happening what is the sn2 reaction i leaves and this oxygen will attack from the back side of the carbon okay now rh i has left already as i minus this carbon is positive generated here and this lone pair of electrons will come on the carbon now what has happened a bond is developed between carbon and oxygen now oxygen is carrying plus charge there is a double bond cch3 o c rh now this is called as oxonium cation now oxygen is carrying a positive charge so this is a oxonium cation so now always remember again there is an acetate ion in the reaction condition there is an acetate ion which will further attack on the now now on this carbon and this bond will come here now what do you get his rh and the on the other carbon there is a oc double bond och3 and for here crh oc double bond och3 you are getting when you treat with h2 or oh now what will happen 
CS3 COOH is removed. Okay, CS3 COOH is removed, leaving back to the OH. Normal hydrolysis reaction you can do, you will get a trans diol. So one OH is formed on this side, one OH is formed on this side. So trans diol is formed by Prevost reagent. Now remember this mechanism very is very important because in Woodward reagent also we are following same three, these four steps we are following same. After this, the mechanism is going to change. Okay. So first four steps you need to remember. This is what Prevost reagent. Now let's talk about Woodward reagent. Now. What is happening in Woodward reagent? Now, as I told you, first, first three, four steps you should remember as it is. Okay. Now, this is I2 in uh, silver acetate or uh, silver acetate. AGI is formed. This again, iodonium salt is formed as it is. And again, this acetate will attack on the carbon and you will get iodoacetate. Now again SN2 intramolecular SN2 reaction takes place. This iodine leaves and this nucleophile attacks on the carbon and you will get, get a oxonium cation. Now what this can be written in the form of like this. This is a resonance form. Now this here a carb carbocation is formed. Now what what condition we have maintaining here? Moist acetic acid we are taking, right? Moist acetic acid we are taking. Now this moist means what? A water molecule a water molecule so this water molecule will now attack on the carbocation which is generated okay now this oh2 plus has been formed remove one of the hydrogen from this oh2 plus oh2 plus then what you will get oh just oh you will get okay everything remains as it is just water molecule will come and attack on the carbocation OH2 is there. One of the hydrogen we need to remove because we need to make it neutral. So OH has been formed further. Further now the little bit bond shifting takes place here. This uh, this bond comes here. Hydrogen donates its electrons and it will come out as H plus. And now this bond will shift here and you will get CO. Okay. Now here you can see is CO. Now this is C double bond O CH3. Okay. C double bond O CH3. Then here COH. Now already OH is formed RH. Now how to remove this? Just by uh, this one. Hydrolysis you can do or saponification you can do. You will get back your OH plus CH3CO OH you will get. So this is what a cis diol. Understood. So on both the side, same side, the OH group is formed. So this is cis diol formation. Only change we are going to make is from here. Attach the water molecule to the carbocation which is generated. Remove one of the proton from that water molecule and the hydrogen just shifts here and you will get OC double bond OCH3 and here you will get OH. Okay. Now do saponification for this and you will get a cis diol. This is the reactions for Woodward reagent. Now if you want to discuss some of its reactions. Okay. If you want to discuss some of its reactions, this is an Woodward reaction. Okay. Here you can see there are many double bonds. Okay. This is a double bond. Here there is a double bond. Okay. Here there is a double bond. Here there is a double bond. Here there is a double bond. Oh, see this double bonds will not undergo hydroxylation reaction because they are in conjugation with this carbonyl group. Whereas this alkene group is will undergo will undergo hydroxylation. Now what is the product you can just think of? It's double bond O. CH3. Here double bond is there and here double bond is there. They are not going to go react. But, but this double bond is going to react. But you need to look on which reagent we are using. C6H5COOAG that is silver benzoate in I2 in CCL4 we are using in presence of CH3 ONA C6H6 there is no C CH3 COOH in this structure right so there is no CH3 COOH that means it is pre -worst reaction and what is the pre -worst product is a trans product one is OH like this one is OH like this now next is which one see here also this is also pre -worst reagent and this double bond is going to react one will come below the weaver, one will be above the plane. 
okay now this reagent is it is woodward reagent it is woodward reagent both will come on the same side oh oh this will be the product this double bond goes even this double bond goes only oh oh is formed sorry oh is formed here and here also oh is formed okay hope you have understood please like the video if you like it share the video and subscribe the channel thank you keep watching for the next video